why should you as a geography student care about what's going on in the news? Um, I'm going to open the BBC News app here on my phone and I'm going to show you um, how some of the stories from today. Today is the 30th of July 2021. Um, I haven't looked at the news yet today, this is completely random, but I'm going to try and show you how some of the stories today are going to link into your uh, GCSE and A-level specifications so that having this knowledge and understanding of what's going on in the world is going to help you in your studies, help you to link to what you're doing. Top stories today in the news are all about the Tokyo Olympics taking place currently. Um, the top story about Bethany Shriver winning a gold medal. Now, this is an interesting one, actually, and I, I know this because I watched this on the TV earlier. Um, she actually had to crowdfund to um, support her participating because UK Sport, which is part of the UK government, cut her funding two years ago. Um, so there's a whole conversation there around and it links to your geography of the UK, uh, people of the UK unit, if you are studying the OCRA GCSE specification, thinking about how government spends money. We look in that at how government spends money to try and encourage people to work longer, to try and support the ageing population, all those sorts of things. Is it appropriate for the government to be spending lots of money supporting um, sports? There's no right or wrong answer to that, but there we go. That's something to think about. Um, we've got a few stories linking into COVID. If you're studying A-level, particularly the OCR specification, there's a disease dilemmas unit. This is the, so relevant, all these these consequences of um, COVID and, and everything that's happening, really, really relevant to that unit. Um, scanning down a little bit further, we have got drug deaths in Scotland. That's perhaps interesting. Again, the geography of the people of the UK unit, looking at areas of deprivation and where drug use is higher compared to other places. And then if we look down um, further down there, Storm Avert, Avert I think is how the... Um, where the lady was pronouncing it on the news earlier. Um, this actually is this is linking into Cornwall and um, the southwest of England and how actually there's been lots of disruption because of this storm. If we look at the um, news over a period of time, so if you'd been looking at it every day for two or three weeks, you would have noticed lots of stories about um, flooding and storms across Europe and there was a, actually a news report yesterday which was starting to directly link some of these storm events to climate change which is a, a topic that's relevant to all specifications whatever level you're studying.